is bad. Hit it. Ha. Sand Hit it. and. Ha. Oh God. Ha. What's Hit up it. with you? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Interested in promoting your brand, business, or talent on Hip Hop News Uncensored? Hit me up right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Hit me ASAP. Very affordable rates now to our regularly scheduled program. Let's Attention readers and leaders. World-renowned author Jordan Wells has teamed up with Hip Hop News Uncensored for a special offer just for you. That's right. I want everybody listening under the sound of my voice to click on the link at the top line of the description box and make sure you go grab yourself one of his many books right now. I'm guaranteeing you this book any one of these books will change your life and the way that you see things. The link is at the top of the description box. Ready, set, go. Do you think Queens, and this might be a little tough question for you, but um, Queens, Ain't Queensboro, tough. All right. <laughs> <laughs> produced the best artist in hip-hop history out of New York? How you going to say tough? That, that's uh -huh. facts. <laughs> Come on, man. Easy, bro. That's I mean, we got Brooklyn, the Bronx, you know what yeah, I mean? I name yeah. artists. Nick, talking about Queens? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. You, 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 talking about, you talking about a man, that's Russell Simmons who put you up in that skyscraper. Mm -hmm. You talking about a man who dominated the game. Russell Simmons. Where you yeah. from? From yeah. Hollis. You're yeah. from Queens. Queens, yeah. You know what I mean? You, you, the biggest artists came from Queens. Mm hmm now go to all the boroughs. Go to go to them other boroughs and <laughs> and say nothing against them. Those that's my home. But yeah, yeah, yeah. go to them other boroughs and you match them against Queens. Just match them against Queens. Was Russell Simmons the beginning of that? Because before that, we obviously heard the bridge is over and people got disrespected. Now, Russell's, by the, that. Russell's the beginning. The beginning. Okay. Russell's the beginning. I know y'all saw Crush Groove. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Russell. Russell was the bridge. All that came after Molly Mall. They came after Russell. Mm -hmm. Russell was that dude. He had Shirley Eden on with him. You know all that. Russell's hip hop. What do you think? How do you think he's feel going on with him right now? In in a lot of black men in hip hop, I heard you say you you don't want to get Bill Cosby mm -hmm. and some other names, <laughs> and we see what's going on out here currently. T Tip and his wife is going through it. But oh yeah. I don't know if it's real or not. We don't know. We weren't there. But it seems like they uh they go at us a little bit and they use that angle to really tear up a name. So talk about that. I mean, they gonna always have something for us to to, to slaughter us. You know what I mean, and um, it's just it's just bad, man. With Russell, man, you know, um, me and Big, you talked about the Breakfast Club. You know, um, we all got felonies. Mm -hmm. We're up in a prison. Russell never had a felon. Mm -hmm. He's not a, he's accused, but he's not, you know, investigating. You know, right. all that type of stuff. Right, right. And they want to put him in the dock. Me and Russell filmed for like 30, 40 minutes together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that shit, like you said, he said, that right there would have took you further than you are now. Like, it would have took you. You know what I mean? And I believe what he said about that. Because Russell was in there giving the game up. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they took it away from me and took it away from Russell. They yeah. took it from the world. Because the world, when that doc and Russell was the founder, to me, seeing that, him on there. So you're saying he took him out of it? They took him out of it. Because Russell of that? Was in it. Because of that. Because of that. It wow. was like they didn't want the Me Too movement to stop our shit and all that. Man, get the that, yo, man, that shit. I don't really care about none of them. I don't. Right. I don't fuck y'all. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. You know what I mean? But and I ain't talking about. I'm talking about that movement because that's all it is to tear black men down. So it seems like down. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The tears up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It ain't for nobody else. As far as let's be real, it's built for us. Mm. Every. Why they went to jail for something they did 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back to these crimes they've been committing on us for 60, 50 years. Yeah. That's a fact. All them niggas be in jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we talking about what R. Kelly did or what Bill Cosby did or with, with who, who else? Um, what T.I. did in his own room, you know, in his crib with his wife. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, come on, man. Yeah. You think he committing crimes with his wife? No, he's not. Right, right. They just I, like a little freaky shit. Well, ain't nobody's business but theirs. Ain't nobody's business but theirs. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they turn in, they want us to slaughter them. Yeah. They want us to slaughter them. That's exactly. Like, as soon as the allegation comes out, everybody just black going, going, going in. Black people going in. Yep. They, know, they know they got a bunch of fools. Yeah. They're going to go in there talking about, 
put memes up and stop yeah. talking their bullshit. You know yeah. what I mean? Which is fucked up because yeah. I'm talking when I was growing up, that shit wouldn't happen. You run your mouth on a motherfucker? Mm-hmm. Oh no. You sure? You they, got the, they got the protection because they think people can't find them yeah. and the keyboard and whatnot. Oh, and... People gonna run to you one day. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah. yeah. They don't run into you. You know what I mean? You better well that shit you was talking. How did that change? How did the internet change your perspective on shit? Because obviously, I mean, we're blessed to have it. Because if it wasn't for the internet, wasn't for things like YouTube, we wouldn't be able to present our, you know, what I mean, perspective mm-hmm. on hip hop and be where we at today. Thank God. But a lot of motherfuckers use it and abuse it. I mean, yeah. abuse it and throw fake shit out there. How, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's like prison. You know what I mean? You know, like I told my man, I said, "Yo, nigga, he ain't never had that. He ain't had shit. Where's pictures at? You know." <laughs> The same shit. Yeah. Yeah, there's prison. Like these mm-hmm. niggas come out. I'm this. I'm that. I got this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Niggas do the same shit in prison, dog. We've mm-hmm. been seeing that. It just made them a, a wider scope. Yeah. And now niggas can be able to load, load, download shit. Who they are and what they done done and all that. And like I don't, you know, dog. I don't. I, I like it. Like just watching you front and do your little <laughs> bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I'm like that nigga's bold. He is crazy. Cause he gonna have to show. He gonna have to show one day. Who he is? Cause mm-hmm. He put out the universe, so we want the show. You better be real with that. Mm. Any spinoffs coming? Um, that, that you know of from Hip Hop Uncovered? They're doing two. They're working on two. Oh yeah, dope, yeah. dope. Because Michael Spellman is working on that Marvel um, show. So okay. They're working on Hip Hop Two, and then um, then my sister called me about a week ago. Um, another network one. If they don't fuck with it, we fucking with it. Okay. Were there anybody else that were, um, aud- not audition, but up to be on there? Because I-, I could think of a few other names that were undercover in the scene, but really prominent. Big Meech, well, Jay Prince, things well, like Jay, that. Jay, it's funny you said that. Jay Prince was supposed to be a part of it. Word. But he told them he was working on his own documentary. Oh, shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it came out. I, don't, I ain't see it. I don't really know. I seen it. They didn't even know but, about it. Yeah, but he said he's working on his own documentary. I wish he was on it. Word. You know what I'm saying? I oh, wish yeah. he definitely was on it. Yeah, I do you know, I respect, I respect, you know, his hood, his handle, and what he do. You know, what he brought to the culture. You know what I mean? I wish he was really on it. Absolutely. Right? But he told he told them that he's he's working on his own doc. So what? Yeah, hey, we, we definitely appreciate your time and that's all the questions we got for you, man, on the hip hop and sense of podcast. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know how long we've been on. It's the first time I actually did an interview without my fucking computer sitting here and I like it because I can sit here and actually I know, I know. Talk. Yeah. 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 Brothers, you know what yeah. I mean? You yeah, this is crazy because like I said, I sit here and watch you guys, man. You know what I mean? And y'all doing your thing. And Appreciate you, it. And y'all one of the podcasters that keep it real. Like, like, you know what I mean? You go to other podcasters, you know, you just don't feel that energy. Like, you don't feel. Like, when I left Virginia, that podcast is real. Them, them, they was who they are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you got guys on here, they come and just don't be who they are. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Don't yeah. be real. We see it. We definitely see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. It, it's just crazy. You know, you, you got guys in here that they tell you I kill. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to hear that, man. I don't want to go on the show. Right. And I want to fuck with you. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. niggas moving away from that. Yeah, I want that energy around me. Yeah, nah. Right. Yo, they building these prisons for you, niggas like you. Yeah. Chill out, man. Yeah. Slow for that shit. Enjoy your money. Exactly. That's it. We definitely appreciate your time. We appreciate you coming down here from the bottom mm-hmm. of our hearts, man. We down here in the woods, man. If you to come down here and travel down here and to come spend some time with us, brother. Sincerely, man, we appreciate you, man. Well, chicken wings good, man. Hey, man, enjoy some more, man. I, don't... I can't eat no more. <laughs> <laughs> I ate some more chicken last week. I'm going to fly this bitch. Well, <laughs> hey, yo, and I'm still vegan. I ain't eating none of them chicken wings. Hello, Sam. I'm just as good as hell, bro. Yo, I'm just as good. <laughs> Shame, you get you one. Oh, man, I ain't had wings in a while, but I'm good. Y'all enjoy it, man. Yeah. Vimeo yeah. on the Hip Hop and Sensor Podcast, bro. Salute.